All right, we're going to do a uh, a uh, anchor lock accuracy test. You got your Motor Guide Tour Pro. It's got the pinpoint GPS, 82 pounds, 24 volt. I'm going to I went ahead and put a buoy out. Uh, just kind of, I'm going to try to get just about right near it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the anchor lock button. Don't do it on the remote, just make it easier. Boom. Now we're set. We'll run this for about two minutes just to kind of see how close it is. These are light and variable winds, which seem to be the toughest for anchor locks from what I've understood. The wind's kind of blowing into our face right here. Um, but they seem to be the toughest modes of all of them for it to be completely accurate. It uh, doesn't want to... Uh, it doesn't want to, uh, when it's light and variable, it doesn't want to stay real accurate because it wants to, uh, it's hard for it, it wants to drift a bunch. So we're going to just see just how accurate it is. There's the buoy. It is locked in. And like I said, very light and variable winds. And these seem to be the ones where the GPS searches a lot. You see the thing turning back and forth. So let's just see how accurate it is we're going to run this about two minutes maybe three um just to see how much it drifts and if there is a drift or if it totally locks us in right now it's swimming the foot and it is adjusting as you can see the head is moving so um so i'm just going to see what it does just to see how accurate and, that, and i would assume that it it goes got to have some kind of degree of variance because gps is not completely accurate but as you can see as we're drifting just slightly away it's steadily turning back in that direction um we're gonna run it like i said i'm gonna run, i'll probably run it four minutes just to see how far i'll try to show you the there's the buoy i would say we're three feet away from it right now so um maybe i'll try to do that there we go the motor is running right now. You can hear some slight adjustments. I can hear it down there slightly adjusting. So um, let's just see what happens here. We're going to run it, like I said, maybe three and a half, four minutes. Um, I've used this quite a bit now, and I did do what they said. I did it three times where I set the, uh, uh, did the calibration about three times. So. And as you see now, we're drifting away just slightly, just slightly. And we're not more than three feet away. So, so let's, and as the wind is kicking, now you see there it goes turning back, making an adjustment. In order for it to adjust back and forth, it has to drift slightly. Otherwise, it wouldn't know it's, you know, it's not moving. So we'll see. Uh, we're at three and a half minutes. It's right there. That's not as probably as far as the camera wants to make it look. It's probably... We're about four foot from it right now, and we're coming back to it. And also, I'll probably go ahead and do the five foot test where I maybe take it five foot to the left. There it is right there. Not very far at all. We're, we've stayed within four foot of it. Um, but I will do the the uh, five foot test. See, there, it's made a little adjustment now, and we're right back to it this is pretty much locked in um i'm gonna go ahead and store it hold down one all right now right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna adjust it 10 foot to the left that's two clicks of this button one two and let's just see there's the buoy i'm gonna go 10 foot to the left and see if it actually moves 10 foot that's what i wonder sometimes it may be that will it actually move 10 foot? I would say that if it does move 10 foot, we'll be the, we were about four or five foot to the right of it. Now we're gonna be about four or five foot to the left. And there we are. But uh, maybe make, I'm gonna make an adjustment back 10 feet. One, two. And let's just say, these will be really nice when it comes down to uh, just trying to make sure you get in the proper position for a good cast. So, 
There it goes, making the adjustment. There we go. I would say we moved 10, we're right, getting close to that 10 foot probably now. Let's see, all right, it recognizes 10 feet now, so. There we go, let's move back up five feet. Let's get back to the, uh, we'll go ahead and go 10 and see if we can get all the way back to the uh, the buoy there. I know some of these videos get a little long, but it's pretty much all you can do to be able to explain them. And there we are, right back to center. Now, let's take it out. Let's go over here, get it out of here pretty quickly. I'm gonna move out and then I'm gonna try to retrace it one thing. I'll do one more of these tests. It's probably the last one of these tests I do on it. But uh, as you can see, I'm going on away from it now, probably 30 feet, 40 feet. We're gonna hit one. There it is turning. So when I tell you it's going, it's going. Let's just see what it does when it returns to a stored point again. Still to this, this amazes me. And it, it, may, it may have it on the other ones. I don't know that. I've operated an Ultrex, but I got to say it's the loudest drove motor I've ever operated. So here we are. Let's see. Can't see my boo. I'm colorblind, folks. There's my buoy. And there we are again right back to our spot lock point. So, as you can see, the accuracy is crazy. Loving it. And I'm gonna say, if I had to give it a guess, two, three feet. It stays within two to three feet accuracy the whole time. And this is light variable winds. I could imagine a stronger wind to me would be easier. Uh, these, variable, these winds are kind of a little bit one way, a little bit the other. As you can see on the water, they're going every diff different direction. So, uh, hey, I'm put, trying to put out some videos here for y'all to look at. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe. Let's get it above 1,000.